the metaverse explained with examples. In this video, I want to explain what the metaverse is by giving you some real and practical examples. Remember Second Life, launched in 2003, it was an early version of a metaverse, I guess, with being an immersive shared virtual space. So the idea of a metaverse has been around for some time, but it's really thanks to recent advances in tech and the backing of tech giants like Facebook, Microsoft and Nvidia, that there's been this, this growing interest in building the, these simulated worlds that model our reality or even go beyond it. The definition of a metaverse is a persistent shared 3D virtual space linked into the perceived virtual universe. So Mark Zuckerberg describes the metaverse as the internet that you are inside of rather than just looking at. So what could a actual metaverse look like? And before we do this, it's probably useful to look at some of the key components that will make up this metaverse in the future. The first one is avatars. So they are 3D representations of players and they can literally take any physical char characteristic or personality. So in the future, we will have digital avatars or one avatar for us. And these are basically able to seamlessly move between different components. So we already have many virtual components like shopping, games, casinos, concerts, all of this happening online digitally. In the future, the avatar can go from one to the other in a seamless way. But at the moment, we haven't got the platforms to bring it all together and create this. So we can't use the same avatar across different platforms. The other thing that a metaverse will enable is having this emergent user behavior. So instead of having a narrow range of functionalities, like when you play a video game, you can only fight someone else. You can't then suddenly design, decide, actually, I want to now take my virtual dog for a walk, or I want to climb a mountain instead, or go to a concert. So what this will happen in the future is that more of these things allow us to do anything to move from one to the other. And the other key component is that we have more mature technology to give us this really great user experience. So what I'm seeing is we get better headsets that are becoming lighter, more immersive, better visuals, better sound, we have faster network, and we have this ability to easily create digital twins. So if you want to have your house, a building, a car put into the digital world as a digital replica, this is easier than ever. And then we want some interoperability. So basically, today's digital world act almost like a, a mall where every store uses its own currency, its own content, own ID card. And in the metaverse, digital assets, content and data need to carry over from one place to the next. So if you, for example, if you buy a virtual Ferrari in the Ferrari virtual store, you can then drive this car throughout the virtual world in different places in different settings. So let's look at some real examples that will give you an idea of what the metaverse might look like. And for me my first recommendation is to watch the film, the movie Ready Player One, which for me is a great example of what a metaverse looks like. So this is based on a novel and is set in 2045 where people basically ex escape from the real world that is destroyed by climate change, war and poverty and they take refuge in the Oasis, a massive online role-playing game and virtual society with its own currency where you can do whatever you want to do. And for me this is a glimpse of what the metaverse might look like in the future. But we have other examples today where we get components of this. So in Fortnite, for example, the, the video game, um, in, in, in the last few years, Fortnite's CEO, uh, Tim Sweeney, has made it clear that he aims uh, to establish Fortnite, Fortnite much more than, as much more than just a game. And a good example is that they recently hosted concerts in Fortnite by artists like Travis Scott, Marshmello, and Ariana Grande. Then we have Facebook's Horizon, which is this expanded VR world that is currently in 
better. Um, so Facebook describes Horizon as a social experience where you can explore, play and create with other, others in virtual reality. And then we have places like Som Somnium Space, a VR world builder platform that supports virtual real estate trading and ownership. It is built on blockchain architecture and had, has its own in-app currency called Sonium Cubes that can be used to purchase properties. And then we have IMVU, a large avatar-based 3D social networks where users can interact with friends, shop, hang out at gatherings and earn real money by creating virtual products, for example. Um, the platforms 7 million plus users spend an average of 55 minutes a day on the site. So I hope this gives you a glimpse into the future of the metaverse. However, we will need new protocols, technologies and innovations along the way to make it happen. So there won't just simply be a flicking of the switch moment where the metaverse explodes into existence. Instead, what the metaverse will likely emerge, the metaverse will, will likely emerge over time as different products and services develop and connect with each other. For me, the potential for individuals and businesses is enormous and it really has to be on everyone's radar. If you want to learn more about the rise of virtual and augmented reality, subscribe to my YouTube channel here or check out my book, Extended Reality in Practice, 100 plus amazing ways virtual, augmented and mixed realities are changing business and society.